Alrighty, guys. So here on the table, you can guys can see I got my armor, granite, mega. You guys know it is I already brushed this already. But as you can see, this body has mm, seen better days. It has seen better days, guys. Yeah, still bashable, but it's seen better days. Front tires are decent. I mean, they're starting to bald out, but the rear ones are pretty much bald. Yeah, they're pretty much bald. Front ones are not too bad. You can see I got other projects going. I got a different stuff going on. A lot of different stuff going on here in the studio. But then we're focusing on the granite here today. So, uh, yeah. So this is what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, you can see the comparison from the rear to the front. I just saw um, much difference there is but uh so i did order a set of tires a set of two i'm gonna replace these rear tires here and just leave the front ones as is replace the rear ones uh at some point i will get another body an armor body but i think i got an idea for this body like i said you might have seen in the thumbnail maybe you did but i got an idea for this body and of course, this guy, this thing is brushes already, so you guys know that it's already, it's already brushes. So I got a my 3100 KB motor, no 3300 KB motor that I had in here. Was it 3100? Was it 30? I can't remember. 3100, 3300, one of them. Ooh, I just dropped a body pan somewhere. Oh, there it is on a tire. Burnt up in this thing. So I ended it up, look at that, I gotta clean this thing all out. So I got this Hobby King, I can't remember. It's a cheap 80 amp Brussels ESC. And I got the 4300 that I took out of my KF plan. The 4300 Brussels motor with a fan on there. You guys can see that there. So the internals are gonna stay pretty much stock. And I went back to the 48 pitch gears, stock gearing that I had. You guys know I did have the infraction mega, or no, I'm sorry, the Vendetta, the Armin Vendetta spur gear in here, but I took that out. And I put the stock spur back in here and it's got a 15 tooth pinion gear. Come stock with a 14, but I went up one tooth, it's got a 15 tooth. But enough job we're drawing. Let's get this makeover going on, let's see what we Bow, and like that, there you have it guys. So you guys, you can see I put new tires, grand spanking new tires on the rear. You can see that as compared to the ones on the front. Brand new ones on the rear. Put this uh, HSP Brontosaurus body on there. Look at that's the original body right there. Look at it, man. Look at it. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I put some Velcro on the side so don't have to installed about even though i did ream some holes to put some body clips in there put some ream my own holes to put body clips in there but ended up putting velcro on the sides so i ain't got to worry about that so it's a clipless body yes sir yes All right, guys, it's gonna be the quick first run of this granite with this new body on it. Well, not a new body, just my HSP Brontosaurus body that I put on here. So I no longer have that, well, so I no longer use our truck. I basically parted it out. But uh, look at that body, looks pretty good on there. I think it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just run it. We are running it on 3S. Uh, 3S, 3200 milliamp hour. 25 seat light bulb, though. Nothing crazy. Not a crazy high seat light bulb or nothing like that. It's getting up, though. Just to test out, see how this body looks while it's rolling. Oh, yeah. And the tires are gripping, baby. You can see it in the rear. 
The new tires is gripping. Ooh, it's that thick grass. So definitely I wanna overheat, run through the thicker stuff, but I definitely don't wanna tear this body up yet either. But we'll do some mild jumping. Some mild jumping. A little rattling the way that you guys hearing it. That's that fan. That fan I got in there, a little cheap fan that I bought off Amazon. It's not the greatest fan, but it works. Kind of. Oh, I thought I was gonna catch that. All right, just so you guys know, this is my first test run with the body. I didn't put the body clips in because I thought the Velcro on the sides would hold it in good enough, but it did kind of come up a little bit there or pop off. Tires in the rear is uh, gripping up pretty good. Look at that, body popped off. <laughs> body popped off. So I guess I could check, check these motor temps while I'm here, huh? Make sure it ain't overheating. Oh no, we're good. We're good, barely even warm. Barely even warm. Let's put this body back on. It's probably gonna keep happening because I didn't put no body clips. Let's put this body back on. We're running for a little bit and we'll wrap the video up. All right, guys, we're going to run this for a little bit more because it's, it's going to keep uh, popping up as I continue to jump it. So I should have put some body clips on there, but I thought them, that Veracro was going to hold it up good enough, but obviously it didn't. Look at that. Bow. So, yeah, guys, as you can see, that body keeps popping up. So I got to get some body clips on there. But as you can see, it runs fine. The Velcro is just not enough just to hold it on there. So I got to get some body clips, and everything should be all uh, good with that bad boy but there you go quick run with a different body on the armor granite mega 4x4 converted to brush don't forget to like subscribe catch you guys the next episode deuces battery down.